Hey y'all, <laughs> welcome back to Inside the Barrel. I'm Big H. I'm Double J, and this is Nate Dog. Oh boy, Nathan. <laughs> Nathan. Wow, wow! It only took us like 62 episodes to get to that. <laughs> Maybe more. Wow, wow. Yeah, he, he there we go. What are we doing? Wow, today? we got to go with this one, man. Hey, today we got a special bottle for you. I don't know how special it is, but if you ever had a Total Wine. You've been sold this bottle before. <laughs> They'll tell you it's special. They will tell you it's special. So, looking for a horse on your bottle? They you got, got it here. You stand in the total wine aisle for, I don't know, more than 30 seconds, scratching your head, looking at the shelf, not really sure what you're wanting to do. Hey, Some guy's going to walk up behind you with this bottle and go, you know what my favorite is? It's this one. And he's going to sell you. And he's going to say, hey, you know what? This, the owner, the owner of, of this is actually the same owner as Buffalo Trace who makes Pappy. And he's, you know, it's actually, it's actually sourced, it's sourced from 1792 in Bardstown. We're, dr is, we're drinking Pappy. Part of Savarat. Oh, this is, this but is yeah, Pappy? It's got a horse on it. Pappy. So you think, what has a horse on it? Blanton's, Rock Hill Farms. You just get really excited when it's horses, Louisville, all that good stuff. But. So what is this? $65. $60, $65. They'll also, if you walk through Total Wine, and I, oh, Total Wine does have a lot of wine, and they do their kind of like the wine selection, the connoisseurs, and they do the rating, and they have each of their sommelier picks and all that stuff. This thing always hits a really high rating, but that's because this is basically a special private label for Total Wine. You're not going to find that bottle anywhere else except for Total Wine. They'll tell you it's allocated. You They'll tell you it's allocated. If you're that guy that walks well, in. Well, it is it's allocated. It's only at their place. There you go. If, you, but, if you're that guy and walks in and says, hey, you got that? any allocated bourbon? They'll walk you right here. So, so, not that I'm trying to say that we got suckered on this one. No, because, I got fish hooked on that. Okay, Sean got fish hooked. <laughs> Double J got fish hooked. Uh, I've drank this much of it, and I've known this bottle for three years, so okay. that's about how excited I am about it. But we're going to drink this, and I tell you what, so, we're going to give it a review, and if we like it, and you guys like it, maybe you'll walk in and you'll surprise those people at Total Wine and say, I actually came here to buy a bottle yeah. of this. But but think about it. It's 1792 produced. It's got a six-year you know, age stamp. And I love 1792. <clears throat> yeah, I'm we just all a high it. rye guy. We all love 1792. It was highlighted in our Bourbon for Beginner video, which I'll probably put a link into. Mm. It's a six-year age statement. It's proofed down to 90 proof, so it hits that, you know, it's starter. Really strong, I got a rye on the nose right now. Yeah. Yes. It's, they do say it's a higher rye mash bill. I smell a little rye. Does it give you a... But there's, uh, it doesn't give you a mash bill? There's it a doesn't little, tell you. No. Just yeah. high rye is all I can find. It's not bad. And again, I'll point out that we do multiple episodes of these in a day. The last one we just did was... Oh. I don't know why we're talking about it. Uh, yeah. Can so I do my rating? I know. So right down to 90 proof. Down to 90 proof. Do so your rating. I'm going to do mine right now. 3.1. Not gonna buy it. Really? Yep. Three point one is still over fifty percent on a scale of one to five. Because you're not pouring it down the drain. Either. No, I'm not and gonna I pour it down the drain. If somebody gave it to me, I I would probably hand it. I'd put it on my outside it's, bar, not my inside bar, and I'd probably yeah. But I'm yeah, I'm not buying it. It doesn't taste bad. It's rather generic. It's a thirty-five dollar bottle. It's seventeen ninety-two. Maybe twenty-nine. It's not in the shampoo bottle, but it's a twenty-nine dollar bottle. bottle. bottle it's seventeen ninety-two. Yeah. Yeah. It's yeah. one of the tallest bottles on my bar up there, outside of the high it's, west. But it, it's good. I won't pay sixty-five for it. You shouldn't either. No. You should buy a bottle of seventeen ninety-two small mm -hmm. batch. I'm surprised Big H has any of this left after installing the sink yesterday. Hey, ladies and gentlemen, we got a sink. This is superb. Superb. Save yourself thirty dollars. Go here. Total Wine, folks. Sorry, we'll tag you in the episode. You probably won't like it, but it's got a horse. If you want a horse, you get your horse. If you want the same bourbon, go with this for thirty-five dollars. No, this is not the same bourbon. This is a little bit higher, a little bit nicer, more refined, better finish. I'm not sure it is. I'm not sure. It's <laughs> okay. I like it. I okay. like it. Double J I, likes seventeen ninety. I don't think it's a bad bourbon. I think it's a great daily drinker. A great daily drinker at sixty-five dollars. No. Right. Put that about $35, $40, and it's probably Sell it all day long. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Okay. With that, like, like share, comment, share, subscribe, 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 all that great stuff. The end of the mm -hmm. video. Whisper to a friend. Tell them about us. Toodle-a-little. Toodle